A queen has been crowned. We have a Eurovision Song Contest winner and a familiar one because, yes, congratulations to Loreen, victorious for Sweden with her song Tattoo. She has made history, becoming the first woman to win the contest twice and bringing Sweden in line with Ireland as the country who has won the Eurovision Song Contest the most times. So the Magnificent Seven are... 1974, ABBA with Waterloo. Could have escaped if I wanted to. 1984, Harry's with Diggy Lou Diggy Lay. 1991, Carola with Fangard Avon Stormwind. Nineteen ninety-nine, Charlotte Nilsson with Take Me to Your Heaven. Take me to your heaven. Hold on to a dream. Take me to your heaven. Twenty twelve, Lorraine, Euphoria. Twenty fifteen, Mons Emelov with Heroes. And now, 2023, Lorene again with Tattoo. No, care about the past. The we were first on the stage to interview Lorene after her win. The only thing I feel right now is so much love and that fact that I'm thankful. My God. Not in my wildest dreams, man. Not in my wildest dreams did I think this was going to happen. It, there was so much screaming around me, it was crazy, you know? I was like, y'all gotta do stop screaming, okay? I'm meditating here. How can you meditate? I don't, you know, I'm trying to be calm, man. I mean, I've, I've, I've lived this performance for six months. Like, it's been my whole life. Building this with my team, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for this. And remember, it was all for you. And I loved every moment of it. Thank you. Lorene, two-time champion of the Eurovision Song Contest. Congratulations. Thank you. You look amazing, by the way. <laughs> Lorene, thank you very much. Thank you, darling. A moment of history, a moment for Lorene, a moment for Sweden. Hot on the cha-cha heels of Lorene was Finland's Karia, who came second. He won the public televote following an incredible performance of his genre-blending metal rap schlager mashup banger, Cha-Cha-Cha. He also delivered Finland's second best result ever after Lordi's victory in 2006 and the most successful placing for a Finnish language song. And thanks to this being one of the most successful Eurovision Song Contests ever, both Lorene, Karia and a number of other participants in Liverpool have made their mark in the global charts, getting number one and top ten positions across the continent and beyond. 161 million people watched the 2023 contest on TV across Europe and beyond. And for the first time ever, viewers watching in non-participating countries could also cast their votes for their favorite songs. Votes were received from 144 countries in total. And outside the participating countries, viewers in the United States, Canada, Kosovo, Luxembourg, more on them later, New Zealand, Mexico, Hungary, Slovakia, the UAE, Turkey and Chile, who had the competition live for the first time in over 50 years, cast the most votes. It's crazy, it's party. of 
the rest of the world vote, that was Noah Carell who placed third overall with her iconic unicorn. Yes, we did want to see her dance. Watch me. can catch up on both semi-finals and the grand final via this channel or by using your domestic catch-up services. Also, explore our YouTube channel for exclusive Be My Guest interviews with all 37 artists. Big thanks to our Eurovision Huns, Rylan Clark and Clara Ampho for those. Well, your English but is very good. It's better than my Italian. I don't know. Um, Let's see. I'm gonna... <laughs> a unicorn horn. <laughs> Would Lazara wear it? Okay. Or is it too bizarre for Lazara? What about this one? I think you look beautiful. Okay. This is our exclusive ESC crystal ball. Yeah, it's a beautiful game. Yeah. Well, why, why didn't you take it with you? In the name of the Thank game. You. Yeah, we were going to play. How many hats do you feel you own? People are going towards 50, 60 hats. Yeah. My husband is really angry at me because we have to put them somewhere in the house and there's no room. I mean, it feels nice, whatever you're doing. Yeah. This is the most action I've had in a long time. <laughs> me too. Oh. <laughs> And you can also check out our exclusive performances from all the artists, including a haunting version of Lorene's tattoo and a reggae rendition of Kalia's Cha Cha Cha. Find them in the playlists right here. That is Liverpool complete. And in the words of Constructor, So what now? While our friends at SVT in Sweden process the monumental task ahead of them and set the wheels in motion for a host city bidding race, there are a couple of other things to look forward to. 30 years after Luxembourg's last participation in 1993 and 40 years after the country's last win, the Grand Duchy has announced it will finally be making its return to the Eurovision Song Contest. RTL Luxembourg will broadcast the live shows alongside local commentary across all platforms and information on the participant selection process and the application procedure will be announced in July. Now Luxembourg, they're pretty good at winning the Eurovision Song Contest. It has five victories to its name, which is very good for such a small country. Luxembourg will be snapping at the heels of Ireland and Sweden and also keen to make a big impact on its return. We will keep you posted. So amongst all the drama and excitement of Liverpool, there was an important update about Junior Eurovision because France Television revealed both the slogan and the key dates for the contest. So Junior Eurovision fans should clear their diary for Sunday the 26th of November at 1600 Central European time. That is when the competition will take place in the host city Nice at the Palais Nikia. Alexandre Damiel of France Television also revealed that this year's slogan will be Heroes, and while the full lineup of participating countries won't be revealed just yet, we do have our first competitor. North Macedonia has confirmed Tamara Grzeska will be singing for her country, following in the footsteps of Lara, Jovan and Irina from last year. And of course, another Tamara, Tamara Tedevska, won the adult contest's jury vote back in 2019 with her song Proud. Can North Macedonia find their first win? We can't wait to find out. Go and break the rules. Go on now. So that is it. We are into the Eurovision off season, but there will be loads of Eurovision news, performances and content heading to our channels over the next few months, including news of the host city race. And there are loads of episodes of the official Eurovision Song Contest podcast to catch up on all the action from Liverpool, including that first winner's interview with Loreen and a debrief episode you can find it wherever you get your podcasts 
Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok to stay entertained and up to date with all the latest news. See you in Sweden. Sweden.